Welcome to the video lecture series of radar systems. Today I am going to discuss multiple choice questions based on the introduction to radar. Let us begin. First question is the term radar stands for what is its full form? What is the contraction of a word which forms the radar? So radar stands for radio detection and ranging. So B must be the correct answer. Question number 2 is the gain of radar transmitting antenna is four options have been given less than that of receiving antenna almost equal to the receiving antenna means here gain of transmitting and receiving antennas have been com compared and what is the relationship. So you must know that the gain of transmitting antenna must always be higher than the receiving antenna because what is our requirement? to transmit as much as the signal required. So it must be high. D is the correct answer. Question number three is the radar in which both transmission and reception is done using the same antenna. So that type of radar where it is being done with the use of single antenna is known as monostatic radar. So A is the correct answer. Question number 4 is when a power PT is transmitted by an antenna then amount of energy which is incident on the target is given by you know that the flux density you can write at a distance r which is PT upon 4 pi r square and when this particular power PT is transmitted by the antenna then gain of that particular antenna must also be considered so A is the correct answer. Question number 5 is radar range primarily depends upon what is the factor upon which radar range depends. So it depends on the transmitted power. What is the peak transmitted power? So out of these four options A is the correct one. Question number 6 is in radar transmitter the function of modulator is options have been given allow the use of same antenna switch the tube off and on, control pulse repetition frequency and increase maximum range. So the function of modulator which is used in the transmitter side, its function is to switch the tube on and off whenever required. So B is the correct answer. Question number 7 is the average power of a pulsed radar transmitter. Average power you know it is being denoted by term P average. So how it is being given? Certain options have been given product of peak power of the pulse and the duty cycle peak power divided by number of this. If you remember the formula of duty cycle. So what is this duty cycle? Duty cycle is actually the ratio of average power to the peak power. It means P average is what? This is the product of these two terms. So A is the correct answer. Question number 8 is high pulse repetition frequency, high PRF in radar will do what? It will increase the range of radar or it will make the weak signal uh, discernible or improve the signal to noise ratio or all of the above. So in case if the PRF is kept very very high it will improve the signal to noise ratio. So C must be the correct answer. Let us check. Yes it is. Question number 9 is minimum range of detection by a pulse radar depends on. Pulse radar does what? It transmits the signal in the form of the pulses. So pulse radar its minimum range of detection depends upon the pulse width. A. This is the correct answer. Yes pulse width is the correct answer. Next question is a duplexer is 
you know that the duplexer is a component whenever there is a use of single antenna via which transmission and reception takes place then this duplexer does what it it actually works as a transmit receive switch so in question number 10 b is the correct answer which is the transmit receive switch Question number eleven is radar transmits pulsed electromagnetic energy because read all the options carefully. It measures direction of target, measure range, identify targets, and provide target velocity. And you are already aware that radar is used to calculate the range. Its major function is this. So it provides measurement of range. It means B is the correct answer. Question number twelve is magnetrons are commonly used as radar transmitters because you have studied that microwave devices are used in the transmitter because they can generate high power as well as transmit it. So read all the options carefully and you will find that A is the correct answer. High power can be generated and transmitted. Question number thirteen is radar detection is limited to line of sight. Why? Curvature of Earth or ionosphere or long wavelengths or troposphere. So radar detection is limited to line of sight because of the curvature of Earth. This is the correct answer as well. Question number fourteen is maximum range R of detection of target. is proportional to which factor of the transmitted power if you remember the radar range formula so radar range r max raised to the power 4 is what pt and some terms terms as well so maximum range is proportional to the fourth root pt raised to the power 1 by 4 c is the correct answer Question number fifteen is which radar is used for measuring the height of an aircraft? Height of an aircraft is measured by radar altimeter. You must remember it. A is the correct answer. Question number sixteen is which of the following diode is used as detector in radar? When you have studied the detailed block diagram of a radar transmitter receiver then you must have seen there is a unit detector so which type of diode can be used impact diode is used in that particular case it is used in so many other applications as well but commonly used in low power radar applications so d is the correct answer Question number seventeen is the duty cycle in a pulsed radar transmitter cannot be increased beyond a point. Why? It affects the operating frequency, increases the average power, does not detect weak signal, or decreases the average power. So, what what is the correct option? As I have told you in the previous question as well, duty cycle is what? This is the ratio of average power to the peak power so if duty cycle uh, in a pulsed radar is being increased beyond a limit then it increases the average power of the transmitter tube it means b is the correct answer question number 18 is which of the following factor is essential for fast communication for fast communication what is required high snr ratio high channel capacity large bandwidth or low signal to noise ratio so for fast communication this is the required one high signal to noise ratio this is the correct answer as well question number 19 is the maximum range of radar depends on what pulse frequency duration energy or width so maximum range of radar depends upon the pulse energy c is the correct answer question number 20 is 
when pt is the peak transmitted pulse power the maximum range of radar is proportional to what maximum range of radar this formula is very very important you may find a number of questions based on this so maximum range of radar is proportional to 1 by 4th of transmitted power some other terms are also here it means c is the correct answer question number 21 is pick the factor upon which maximum range of radar does not depends peak transmitted pulse power direction of movement target area capture area so if you read all these four options carefully you will get to know radar range depends on peak power it depends on target area it depends on capture area as well it means b is the factor upon which radar range does not depend this is the correct answer as well Question number twenty-two is which of the following radar system is mainly used in remote sensing applications? In remote sensing, synthetic aperture radar is used. You have to remember it. Correct answer as well. Question number twenty-three is when the same antenna is used for transmission and reception, the radar ranges. Directly proportional to the antenna gain. Directly proportional to one fourth of power of antenna gain. Directly proportional to the square root and inversely proportional to the square root. If you recall the radar range equation, you can find that range raised to the power four r raised to the power four is directly proportional to the g square gain of the antenna its whole square. It means when same antenna is used then radar range is directly proportional to the square root of the antenna gain correct answer question number 24 is second time account around echo are caused by what is second time around echo second time around echo is which arrives after the transmission of the next pulse this is the correct answer question number 25 is the maximum unambiguous range of a pulse radar with prf of 5 kilohertz so r unambiguous is what this is the formula c upon Two times P R F, and somewhere you can see this particular formula C upon twice of F P. What is C? C is three into ten raised to the power eight meter per seconds, and pulse repetition frequency is given, which is five kilohertz. Means five into ten raised to the power three. If you simplify it, you will get to know this is thirty kilometer. so a is the correct answer question number 26 is duty cycle of a radar system is defined as so recall the formula of duty cycle duty cycle can also be represented in terms of pulse width into prf alternatively it can be written as what pulse width upon pulse repetition time it means a is the correct answer question number 27 is ratio of average power to the pulsed power is known as even in this lecture we have discussed this term again and again this is the duty cycle so d is the correct answer Question number twenty-eight is the range beyond which target appears at second time around echo is known as what? This is the unambiguous range, maximum unambiguous range. So C is the correct answer. Question number twenty-nine is which is the standard form of radar range equation? Recall the radar range equation. Radar range equation depends upon the transmitted power, gain, capture area, radar cross-sectional area. So, if you 
carefully observe all these four options you will get to know standard form is what ptg this particular term this is the correct answer as well next and last question if the peak transmitted power in a radar system is increased by a factor 16 maximum range of radar will change again recall the formula even the formula which you have selected in question number 29 here what do you have written r max is proportional to transmitted power it's one fourth root so if peak transmitted power is increased by a factor 16 then maximum range will change by a factor 4 16 it's raised to the power 1 by 4 means you are getting 4 so it will vary 4 times let us check the answer this is correct as well so i hope now you are able to recall the concepts which you have studied for the introduction to radar systems and after discussing so many multiple choice questions now you will be able to solve this, such type of questions also thank you so much